Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I know this is a usual. This is a little unusual that I do a video for a review for test, but this is one. This is the last test you're going to take for me this year. I want you to take it seriously, and as usual, I want you to be prepared for it. So I'm hoping this video, not too long, but will uh, prepare you for your test. You see right away. I've given you seven formulas that you're going to need to know. Uh, if you want to put those formulas right next to you, that's fine. Look, we're not in class, right? So we're not taking this uh, blindly and you have to study the formulas. Just have them right next to you before you take the test. All right. Uh, also, a couple other things I wanted to pay, want you to make sure you know. So I'll add this in right now. Make sure you have these next to you. Some of the questions on the test are going to require you guys to know the facts about a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Um, I am not going to write those down for you at this point in the year. Uh, we shouldn't either know them already or we're going to look them up and know them and have them by our side. Uh, second one, obviously 30, 60, 90, know something about those. And also what would happen if you need to solve for a side of a triangle that's not 30, 45, or 60, you're going to have to use Sokotoa. So make sure you are comfortable in using Sokotoa. Okay. Uh, another thing that's going to crop up on you and I want you to be prepared for that we have not talked about in a while are a few of the properties of a rhombus. All right. There will be a question about the area of a rhombus and you're going to need to know some of the properties to be able to do the algebra. All right. So first property here, you guys want to know diagonals are perpendicular. Also in a rhombus, all sides are equal or congruent. And then finally, I know there's a lot more properties, but the, another one you definitely want to know going into this test is the diagonals are angle bisectors. And if you forget what that one looks like, here's my rhombus. Here's my diagonal, congruent, 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 congruent. Okay, so remember that. Okay, so those are some of the things you definitely want to go in knowing, uh, being prepared for, because uh, I did not make this test the easiest one. All right, it is our last one, and I wanted to put some pressure on you and also to take it seriously. All right, keep in the back of your mind that this is the last test you're going to have to do for me this year. All right, there, are, there will be no tests in the next unit or quizzes. Okay. Part of the assignment, the assignment for the reviewing for the test, and it is an actual assignment that you're going to put in your shared folder is to complete pages 20, 21, and 22. So I'll give you some help in doing a couple of these right now, and then you're on the hook for the rest of them. Okay. Uh, so here we go for number one, find the area to the nearest 10th of this regular hexagon. A side is 18 meters. And remember how we're doing these, we're creating in this case, six congruent triangles. So the area formula for this one's going to be six times one half base times height, which is the area formula for a triangle. All right. So we already know the base is 18. What we're going to have to find is what about that height right there? Okay, what about that height? Well, first thing we need to find is what's that full central angle right there. And the way we can do that is take 360 divided by six. And that tells me it's a 60 degree angle. The height bisects it. So now you're talking about a 30, 60, 90 triangle right here. All right, so that on top here is 30. There's your 60 down here. The height also bisects the side. So this side is nine. And now we need to go from there, all right? Uh, not making this too messy, but here we go. 30, 60, 90. I warned you this is probably going to be on the test. You got X, X radical three and two X. And then let's see the nine is across from the X. I'm looking for the height, which is across from the 60. So it's going to be nine radical three. So I go back to my formula. I'm going to say six triangles times one half base of 18 and the height of nine radical three. Going to plug all of that into my calculator. So 
So six times one half times 18 times nine radical three. And then I round that to the nearest 10th, 841.8 square meters, okay? So there is a lot of on there about regular polygons, okay? So make sure you're comfortable 30, 60, 90, 45, 45, 90. And if it's not any of those degree measures, I'm going to have to use Sokoto. All right. Uh, let's move on here. There's, I just want to do one more with you to help you out. Uh, let's do number seven. Okay. Uh, new logo creates four quarter circles. Find in terms of pi. So I can need a pi in my answer, the exact area of the shaded region. All right. So it looks like the area of the shaded region is going to be that square minus the four quarter circles, which make up a full circle. All right. So it's going to be length times width minus pi r squared, the full circle. All right. So it looks like the length is six and the width would also be six because it's a square. So six times six minus pi radius. Now take a look. That would be the center of the, the circle and then drawn out to an endpoint on the arc. There's your radius right there. It's three squared and let's keep going. I get 36 here minus nine pi, three squared is nine. And it also said, leave your answer in terms of pi. You cannot subtract 36 and nine. This is in terms of pi. It's like 36 minus nine X. You're not gonna do anything with that, are you? So that's it right there. I just gotta put on square inches and clean that up a little bit. Okay, and that's it. So that is already in terms of pi. If both of them had pies in it, the 36 and the 9, I would combine them, but they don't. So I am done. Okay. So good luck with the rest of them. Make sure you check your work and please prepare for this last one. This is it. This is it. This is the finisher for the year. Thanks, guys.